welcome to our show. Look where we are on location at the Respite Center with the co-founder of the Respite Center, Sharon Liznow, and Ricardo Barraza, who is a longtime uh, staff member and, and community member of the Respite Center, now the director of the marathon race, the 5K race, and lots of good stuff. So we're so happy to be here. Well, really. thanks, for, thanks for coming. Our first time sitting down with folks from the Respite Center and certainly our first time here. What a beautiful day. Isn't it? You know, and a great space. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah. So it's the 20th anniversary yes. of both the center and the run. Mm -hmm. But tell us a little bit of your story. It's very personal and how this all... Well, 23 years ago, we were given this piece of property but from the Archdiocese and for free. Oh. And we, we built the center with the help of the community. Um, and three years later, we um, opened. Now, well, there's so 20 a reason years ago, why. 20 years ago, 20. we opened, but we were, it took us three years to actually build the center. Wow. So that would have been the time when we were just moving here. We yeah. moved here yeah. 20 yeah. years ago this year. It was open yeah. or, yeah. But, there was a reason why you did this. Well, There's the center's named reason. after my son, Michael. Right. And um, Michael passed away when he was 10 years old. When he was born, he um, just weighed a little over a pound. He was profoundly premature and um, had significant disabilities. But he was just the, the greatest kid with the best laugh and just, just a sweetheart. And um, so he's the inspiration for the center. He taught us everything that, um, that we know. And the purpose of the respite center then and now was to provide individuals and their caregivers and families an opportunity to have their their have loved respite. one mm -hmm. you know engage with with other folks and then the caregivers get a break i mean yes. tell me a little bit about it. well we yeah. started with just pure respite mm -hmm. meaning you know somebody comes in for a couple of hours or spends the night and now it's developed into a lot of different programs okay. we run um, an adult day program we've got 70 adults who spend five days a week with oh, us wow um, from like 8 30 to, to 4 o'clock and then we have two daycare respite programs um, we have an after school program we have weekend respite and then overnight respite wow. you've also have more than one facility now too that people we do. don't realize well, that's you have news. you have you have a I um, one of my good friends actually works in one of the facilities and stays overnight and um, you have what four or five four yeah really? we have four um, group homes mm. and each one well three of the group homes have four individuals in them and then one has three individuals in them and they're all small cape houses mm -hmm. that um, we um, have renovated mm -hmm. all, in all in Hopkinton oh, yeah. all in Hopkinton mm -hmm. Love yeah, it. yeah, and they're all the little capes in the center of town, so everything's walking distance right. to town. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to say, the town of Hopkinton has been so fabulous to us in so many different ways. But especially to our group homes, the neighbors in our in our where we live um, have just welcomed us with open arms. They, they've that. just been Aww. fabulous to well, us. So and awesome. some of your constituents. Um, mm -hmm go and actually work in the community yes. and I love that. I love uh, we have a gentleman who's worked 18 years at the lumber yard next oh, door. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have actually developed a work program. We yes. do. Right. We have, I think we have, we're up to 18 job sites now. I That's awesome. Um, well, you know, and you've also been a resource for kids who um, want seek out volunteer opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, I know service. my son was a volunteer here. Yes, and he it was. It was a really growth experience for him yeah, in a profound yeah, way. Yeah. And then eventually became on staff and got to work with yeah, you. That's right. Which yeah. I didn't realize. And so, Hi, Evan. <laughs> 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 I love it. I'll Shout out. I know, absolutely. <laughs> so it was fun meeting you today and just, yeah. you know, reconnecting. Yeah, um, well, at the time that your son Evan was uh, here, I was a direct care staff, you know, um, and so I was in the day program, nine to five, all day, and which was awesome, you know. I, I loved every day. Every day was a new day. There was no two days that were the same. You just, you know, you never knew what you were gonna get when you walked through the doors. Um, and since then, it's been, you know, how many years has that been? You know, oh my it's God, because Evan's been out of high school since yeah. uh, 2009. Yeah. Yeah. And this was in his, like, freshman year. That's right. Yeah. Eight years, yeah. Yeah. And, and he was, he was awesome. He, he felt was. He, he was a natural. Yeah. You know. he lo and it was, you know, a real growth opportunity for us as his parents to see yeah. him yeah. engage in this way when yeah. we had no idea that he would. Yeah. And he did. And, you know, I get a little emo thinking about it. it Evan was, was fabulous here. We've had so many kids from the high school. Yeah. 
who have worked here in the afternoons, and um, it is is a life changing experience. Mm -hmm. um, a number have gone into special ed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's just it's it, it, the people who are here are our teachers, and they uh, teach us. Wow. And so the kids that come in from the high school to work here or volunteer here, mm -hmm. they just gain so much. They give so much. They get so much. So I, we understand why you founded this organization mm -hmm. and the respite center. But did you have a background in social services, education, any of I that? did. Well, my, my original background was in business. Okay. And then I had Michael. Mm -hmm. And so my whole life just Change. Change. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going out. Right. Like, okay. What? So <laughs> we have I, a new mission. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and I worked in retail for years. And I loved it, but that wasn't meant to be for wow. life. Yeah. Um, and then when Michael went to kindergarten, I went back to school mm -hmm. and got my master's in special ed. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so that's how it started. Well, Carla, how about you? What, um, how, how did you get involved? How did you get involved? In well, yeah. it's it's been you know it's kind of a wild ride. But I went to Hopkinton High School, mm -hmm. um, so I had always heard of the Respite Center. You know, you pass right by it from Lake Maspinock. Yep. Yeah. If you're taking the bus, you know, you every see day. this big white house every day. And so I always I always knew about the Respite Center. Um, and I believe my senior year in high school, one of my best friends. Brandon Rhodes was working here mm -hmm. and uh, I, I remember just being so interested in it that I came in to volunteer and just see what it was all about and um, after I had graduated high school I moved down to Mexico for a year just to do a little traveling and reconnect with family mm -hmm. and when I moved back from Mexico um, I remember I was you know didn't really know what I was going to be doing I was taking classes part-time and I wanted something I wanted to be able to do something to fill my time up and um, that's when I reached out to Brandon and I was able to come in here, volunteer some more, mm -hmm. kind of like Evan did, mm -hmm. and then at similar path, got taken on as a staff. Yeah. And I went from being a part-time staff member, you know, a couple days a week, to three days a week, to four days a week, to five days a week, wow. and the rest is history, you know. <laughs> well now, and what's your role now? Yeah. So now, I, I believe I wear many hats, but if, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's hard with your hair, though. Yeah. <laughs> Great hair, by the way. Yeah. I remember when I said there's a, there's different, you know, like I said, there's every day is a different day, and that still applies to now, you know. I, um, I guess you could call me a, the events coordinator because I do a lot of work with our Boston Marathon team. Mm -hmm. We have a team of about 70 runners who come in and... Um, Seventy. Uh, yeah, well, wow. they're... We get a lot of help from uh, the Dell EMC company, you know, wow. um, and, but uh, also on top of that, I do uh, the Michaels Run 5K, which is coming up in October. Actually. October 21st, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. October Give a shout 21st. Shout out about it. Okay. Yeah. October 21st. You start in, it starts and ends right on the common. It starts right on the common. That whole yeah, you just walk, you run right down the common, or walk, or wheel, or whatever However you want. However you can get However around. However you right. can get there. You know, it's not it's not like um, you have to run type of 5K. It's a very family oriented community event that we like to throw. And yeah, you run right down Ash Street, take a right on Blueberry, take mm -hmm. a left on Thayer, Thayer and Heights. then take a left again on Ash, Come right down yeah. there. and then you end right at the common. And we have music. Lawn games, face painting, pumpkin paint. Pumpkin paint. paint. Oh. Pumpkin paint. <laughs> I was always like yeah. pumpkin paint when she was little. That's and we have a full barbecue. A full barbecue. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh, even if you don't dogs. run, you can just come out and yeah. enjoy the engage. day and, and engage. Have a, you know, have a burger, a hot dog, and you know, free coffee. So that's that's always that. good. I'm good at coffee, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it on rain or shine? Do you have yes. a rain day or anything? It is rain or shine. Excellent. I think what I have appreciate watching you getting involved in the Respite Center is that you've actually taken a lot of things that are your personal passions and then embraced it more. Whether you're playing music here, you're right. playing music at the, co you know, right. helping with the coffee house and different things, but you've taken things that are your personal passion, taking the kids out and you're like, oh yeah, this is where, you know, I've seen you like in fields and stuff. Yeah, yeah this is how I used to play lacrosse. And well, that's the beauty. All the kids that walked okay. up and down the street going like this. <laughs> <over> the <laughs> that's the beauty of, of, of having this place and having um, someone like Sharon and Mary, who's not with us, but the other director. Um, I used to love, and I still do, rock climbing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it's something that I did ever since I was little with my family. When I came here, I know I had the idea that hey, maybe I can take some of these guys and start a rock climbing group or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, and then <laughs> I remember coming to Mary and Sharon. And, them kind of being like, hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
not a 30 foot round wall. <laughs> they never said no, or, or they never made me feel like, you know, Dumb obviously, idea. like, yeah. They were just like, okay, try it out and see see what see what happens. What the, what the and oh man, it was such a success, oh. you know. But the and rest is, and yeah. it's great because Mary and Sharon are the type of people that if you have an idea, mm -hmm. you know, they foster that idea and they say, go ahead, go try mm -hmm. try it, you know. And, so much of the success of the respite center is because of the staff we have mm -hmm. and um, we've never hired anybody with experience so oh, our philosophy per is to <laughs> is to hire the heart you mm -hmm. can teach the rest uh, and yeah. um, so we've been I very successful at, with mm -hmm. that and then the other thing is we look for talents mm -hmm. you know sometimes I, one time when we were hiring we needed somebody who plays music like we were missing a music person mm -hmm. so anyone who played music was qualified for the job, not mm -hmm. the special part, ed part of it. Mm -hmm. So um, we encourage our staff then to bring ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, what I am hearing is you look at the individuals like you mm -hmm. and, and you're coming up, let's go rock climbing. Yeah. And instead of saying, we can't, it was, How you know. How do we do this? Yeah. possibilities let's, let's figure out how to and, mm -hmm. and there's a whole philosophy around innovation that is let's not talk about what we can't do let's look yeah. at and then let's say what we can do and this whole mm -hmm. visioning of like all right how can we go about solving this so yeah. how did yeah. you get uh, I mean you have a, a diverse group mm -hmm. with varying disabilities yep. Mm -hmm. How did you tackle some of that? Because there were certainly some challenges. There were some bet. challenges, sure. And, you know, I, I it wasn't just me. I had help from other staff group mm -hmm. members, you know. And, and I kind of had to take the temperature of the room, mm -hmm. you know, so to speak. Maybe if somebody's really afraid of heights, I'm not going to ask them to come right. rock yeah. on me. But uh, you get somebody else who's like a really loves, you know, basketball or football. Mm -hmm. And he's out there. And, you know, he's just like a sporty type right. of guy. I might come up to him and say, hey, you know, I'm Would starting this? this. Would you like to try it? Mm -hmm. And it started like that at first. And it would start maybe like three or four different of the clients who would come here. And I would have an extra staff member to come with me, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm certified as, um, as a, they call it a belayer. Right, on Which belay. is the person yep. who's mm -hmm. anchored to the floor, who's, okay. who's pulling your rope yep. as you're climbing up. Right. So at first, you know, it was maybe you would get your feet on the, the rock holds. And you would take just maybe one step up. Yep. And then I would say, okay, let go. No. You know, and sometimes they wouldn't let go. They would just walk down. Sometimes, you know, they would have that trust and they would let go and they would just hang. And then uh, you'd let them down. And then yeah. they would know, like, I'm not going to fall because right. Ricardo's got me. Okay. So then maybe I can go up a couple more feet. Yeah. And then I'd say, okay, you know, whenever you're done, you can come on down. Because ultimate trust building, right? Yeah, ultimate it's, trust building. Yeah. It's trust building, but also. Your clients must have a great sense of accomplishment. That oh, is huge. It's so, and challenging yeah. themselves and doing mm -hmm. things that aren't necessarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. Yeah. I'm all about you well, know, yeah, learning how to take appropriate risk and, and creating successes. Yep. That is we so have a awesome. video that is just phenomenal yeah. of two of our gentlemen who got to the top of the wall and their expressions when they got to the top. Oh. And that's, that's 30 feet. I mean, they, that's it a, took yeah. them months, but yeah. it was, it's just a fabulous we video. We can relate because the, the housewives group, <laughs> yeah. they've seen this county over here, had us on the ropes course at, at the, the Y, y. Oh, yes. here in Hopkinton. Yeah. And, you know, climbing up and doing all those things and um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit out of, of the height. comfort zone. Yeah. And yeah, this right. one was, you know, repelling from the treetops. <laughs> you know, so I get the thrill of what these what's two, your yeah. their accomplishment was going up and repelling down. Yeah. Right. And not necessarily doing the elements, but, you know, everybody has a sense of their limit. Mm -hmm. And when you ask somebody to trust and go just one step beyond that limit, and that's it creates yeah. successes, it and I love hearing yeah. that. Yeah. It, it was yeah. it was a big success. It was it was awesome. <laughs> it was. I think knowing that some of the things that the Respite Center has done has actually inspired others in the community to do mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Um, yes. Because of um, the coffee house and um, the music, and actually introducing that to some of the scouts to be involved in it, mm -hmm. that's actually what was the inspiration for Michael Prose to do his Eagle Project through the Respite Center yeah. and mm -hmm. set up the concerts and actually yeah. get to meet Ricardo and things like that. And knowing that, you know, seeing, uh, you know, like, what, and then, you know, knowing, like, oh, wow, then his mother came in a few times, did things, and 
other scouts came in and did other projects because they got introduced to it through yeah. something that inspired them and yeah. they got inspired from something on the outside yeah. that you guys you actually you know you leave the four walls of the white house and you're actually out in the community Absolutely. i think that's right. what makes a big difference yes. yes you know when you see you guys walking down the road mm -hmm. when you see you guys mm -hmm. at events when you guys are at poly arts you're, you're right. yeah in that family day you're part of the whole community and have Embrace the whole fabric. Well, you're and that's working what's in the taking. community. I mean, yeah. you guys are engaged, and yeah. and you know, it, it's a two-way street. And I love that you say your um, houses. You know, that the you neighbors love yeah. your homes. Yeah, and yeah. and engage. But you're doing the same thing. You're engaging. We are. We start early. We have a program that runs in the spring for the second graders. I don't know if you're familiar with no. it. No. Tell us. It's um in conjunction with Elmwood. Mm -hmm. And um, Which all they can the walk here, yeah, too. yeah, they do. They, they do walk. Do. Yeah, 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 both my kids. Yeah. And second grade, all the second graders come, and we do a whole disability awareness program. Wow. And um, started, I don't know, years ago. We've now educated over seven thousand kids. Wow. In that I mean, my daughter's a senior, and my son's a junior. We're on site. This is what it's yeah. like. <laughs> on site, a little noise. And it's been. It, I mean, it's been going on that long. It has. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, it's been going on since side, Evan was in second grade. Oh, really? Yeah. Walk here from Right. Yeah. And so it's like, um, to, you know, the kids are very well aware. Yeah. And we give them a tour, and then they mm -hmm. come and they can they sit down, and we have two people, Michael Mullins, who's from Hopkinton, mm -hmm. um, who actually has Down syndrome, and then so another. He sings the anthem. Yeah, he sings yeah. the national anthem. Oh. And then a, a young lady from um, Holliston, Katie Rose, and they answer every question these kids ask. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's fabulous. Because at, at their age. There's a natural curiosity, yes. and I think sometimes, you know, they don't know how to engage, but they want to engage, mm -hmm. and this yeah. is wonderful, because yeah. you're creating a, a way to engage, and it, it just takes away some of the stigma and the barriers. And they that's can ask questions. Enough. I think that's, yeah. the, that's the beauty of it. They're open at that age, mm -hmm. too. Yes. I mean, they have questions, but they're before they have judgments and stigmas and whatever right. other, you know, stuff gets layered on to concerns about the differently abled, I like to say. Yes. But the big yes. takeaway they take away from that is they have Down syndrome kids in their classrooms with them. Right. So they actually build, like, okay, I get now more where she's coming from or he's coming right. from and stuff like that. Yeah. And, like, oh, okay, yeah, we're in gym class together, we're in art class, we're mm -hmm. all doing the same thing. Absolutely. You know, there was a group this summer that had um, differently abled kids and their families um, together at the uh, Hopkinton State Park, right. kind of kayaking. I'm not sure if you guys were aware of that, but I thought that was a wonderful way to, you know, be inclusive and get you yeah. know, different yeah. families and kids to meet each other in town. Yeah, we love to kayak up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's one beautiful. of our gems. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we're it really so is. lucky if you haven't done it. Um, so, if you could wave your magic wand, <laughs> wave it. you know, uh -oh. on a wish for, and I don't want to limit it to the center, or what, 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 what's on that? What, what? More parking. Ah. <laughs> you, you've experienced it first I had, yeah. I had, I had, I had it's like, oops. Yeah. You know? That's right. It's on the whole town's list. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. But, but I, I don't know what I would wish but, for. But that's really that's a hard. going to change as the driverless cars come, because I think, you know, we're going to be <laughs> suddenly not even having our own cars. It's going to be ride sharing. Like <laughs> oh, it absolutely <laughs> will. Speaking of the Teslas. I'm not only speaking of that. Ooh. There's a new startup that is looking to be the Uber for parents who want children mm. and individuals who can't yet drive and taking them where they need to come with, you know, the permission wow. involved. Wow. Well, Uber does that. So My this, brother drives Uber. They no, do that. but the thing That's is, part of it. this is where you have parental or adult control. So suddenly, wow. your clients could say, I want to go, and they could have their, you know. The automatic so, driver. Yeah, so, wow. take them wherever they need to go. Now, right now, it's going to have a driver with it, but yeah. soon okay. it's yeah. going to huh. not have a driver. We have vans now, so. Yeah, we have vans now, but you're yeah. still limited in number of drivers. <laughs> yeah, well. But anyway, but the wish list, the bit, you know, the I, limit you list. Know, it, we've been open 20 years, and mm -hmm. the 20 years has been just spectacular. I love your and um, I just wish for another 20 years like it, yeah. Yeah. where we see continued growth, helping so many families, educating the community, um, partnering with the community. I mean, it's just, been, it's just been a wonderful 20 years. Do you have capacity issues ever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there a wait list or how? Yeah, how our, our overnight respite programs are really, really packed. Mm -hmm. 
um, our adult day program, we've really worked at getting it out of the respite center and that's helped a lot. That's how we can grow because yep. we have the YMCA, yes. we use Milford Youth Center, the Carpe Diem in Franklin. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got so many out places, the state mm -hmm. park, um, that we send, we have seven vans and by 10.30, they're out. Oh, yep. wow. So mm -hmm. that allows us to grow. So with that program will continue to grow. Mm -hmm. Our baby programs always have turnover because kids age out once they mm -hmm. get to school. So, but we have capacity, absolutely we have capacity issues. issues. Mm -hmm. So are you doing anything to flagship the 20th? Are you having any sort of celebration? Well, we passed our 20th in April okay. and um, it was in conjunction with the marathon right. because mm -hmm. it felt we opened on the um, 101st marathon. Mm -hmm. So um, we have the big Dell EMC party. So we, oh. we celebrated it at the big barbecue that was up, one it. up there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was a yeah. Bit. So it was good. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Ricardo? Is there anything on your wish list, just if, in general, relative to your work and the needs of people? Um, man, you're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> 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 it's a hard question. This is it, 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 it is a hard, hard question to think about because, what yeah, yeah wishes it's, you know, yeah. I get, yeah, I mean. I mean, for the music, you know, enough instruments, enough instructors. Um, right. You know, what are the... Absolutely. The um, you know, there, there's so many clients here who love, love music. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a passion. And I can relate, obviously, because I'm, a, you know, I'm a musician at heart as well. And I'm so. hoping you'll say a little bit more about that because I am well, aware, music but not therapy really. Yeah. And the science behind it and how it helps movement mm -hmm. and how it helps uh, cognitive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, when, um, is, your, is one of the bands going to play at the 5K? Um, no, well, we we tried having uh, some live music before, yeah. and it's it can be because you know a lot of the, the individuals who go kind of have like a sensory right. you know thing. It can be a bit loud yeah. sometimes, yeah. so we find just having like a DJ with okay. being okay. able to control sure. the volume yeah. just works a little bit yeah. better. And yeah. there's announcements going on. So I know the like marathon's that. a big fundraiser. Mm -hmm. You have the, yeah. you just had the coffee house. The 5K mm -hmm. is another one of your flagship fundraisers. 5K is yeah. It is, but we don't. The 5K, the, the marathons are big fundraisers. Right. Mm -hmm. The 5K is really, it's a memory of Michael. So mm -hmm. it's Michael's run. Mm -hmm. um, and it's more of a community event. Mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. not so much a big fundraiser, although we, we do raise some money there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's more to celebrate Michael's life and mm -hmm. to celebrate the community here. Um, the Hopkinton football team mm -hmm. comes. Oh, nice. And so what do they do? They oh, just they're great. They, you know, they help out. They, they have running buddies. Too. They have running buddies, they and they come up. in their jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> they oh. help. Th that last hill, if you've ever walked the Ash Street yeah, Hill, is really significant. <laughs> 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 I know I <laughs> That wasn't. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a really fun. Anybody who walks it says it that way. <laughs> Um, the, the Hopkinton Running Club too helps yeah, the, out. The too. Hopkinton yeah. Running Club out. does all of our registration. We'll send a little shout out to them. Thank yes, you. Absolutely. Every, every year they come. If people want to sign up, they can sign up on your website. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, www.hopkintonrespite.com. Mm -hmm. There's a link right on there to um, we'll click on. We'll put it up on, on the show. Yeah. 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 But it's it's really a community event. And the thing, our group, who uh, our adults in our program, they train all summer to do Michael's run. So there'll be about 70 of our adults who have disabilities who, mm. who will do the run. Um, I love it. Yeah, and the football team escorts them. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they walk in groups. Okay, shaming us, because I don't know if I could do the run. I had a really <laughs> oh, bad yeah. summer of not running. I'm like, oh, <laughs> crap, so you know? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How many people are on staff? Just to, to the, um, the we have 52 on staff right 52 now. 52 on mm -hmm. staff, amazing. Yeah. And if you could estimate how many people uh, are part of your services and are part of your community attending things. There's a couple of hundred people that we're serving at any yes. one given time usually. Wow, wow. that is. Yeah. And, and I just think, you know, I, I'm one of these that like I said, think forward and, and backwards too sometimes. But when you started this, you probably had no idea what would evolve. And 20 no years idea. later, yeah, what, look what you what did and you, Mary have done. Yeah, what did you think you were starting to do? And, and Well, we thought we were starting a respite center. We had no idea we were starting a daycare center and an <laughs> adult program and an after school program. But, but the day we opened was the day after the 101st marathon, as I said. And um, there was Mary, myself, and one volunteer and one baby and one adult wow. okay and wow. that's how we started wow and for the first years um, mary and i literally worked every shift one of us and then slowly we brought people on mm -hmm. um, 
and we have a number of people who have been here for the whole 20 years wow. which is which is huge I mean, I, I, and I'm, I mean again we want to congratulate you on 20 years Absolutely. we are hoping Bravo. for another continue yeah. on for another 20 um, we want people to know about the run and be at it and um, really just thank you for thank what you, you do. It's become a staple in this community. Thank you so you much. You can go almost anywhere and mention like, oh yeah, the respite center's in our town. And they're like, yeah. oh yeah, they, they, they know about well it. Know. And, and the, you know, you became an official charity very quickly with the Boston Marathon. So, yeah, it, and it was the first official charity that Hopkins ever had as on the Boston Marathon. So I think that's very cool. And just want to wish you guys a lot of congratulations. Yeah, right. Thank yeah. you. Happy yeah. 20th. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for coming. More. People get Thanks involved on the 21st. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Come to the, to the run on the 21st. Thank you for letting us visit and talk with you. Thanks, for sure. Today. Thank no, you. Thank, thank you. you. Very Enjoyed much. it. Thanks for being with us. See you next time. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love H Camp. And I want to be a camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. My name is Margie Wigan, and I want to invite you to join me for my new show, Character Matters, on HCAM. We're going to talk about why do people choose the behavior that they choose? Why do they choose to be good? We're going to hear from people in history. We're going to hear from local heroes who make great choices. And we're going to hear from some puppets who talk about things they've seen, and they're going to say, what? Did you see that? Yes, I did. Please join us. Watching my mom and dad age is hard. I worry about their financial decisions. I don't know where to turn for advice. For resources, tools, and self-directed courses, visit smartaboutmoney.org, a non-commercial organization focused on your financial success. Together we can change the news. Find out how at safekids.org.